I think that I just need to thank the fabulous boys. Kumasi Asanti Kotoko. I say, Ukuma Pimbe, Apimbeba. The significance of this victory for me is fantastic. Kotoko won the league so many times, so what is the big deal, what is the news? I think we predicted it, at least some of us did, predicted it at the beginning of the season. We saw them winning the league. My interest has always been how does Kotoko win on the field and how does Kotoko win off the field? I mean, that's the sign of true greatness. And I think off the field, we've seen what Nanayao and Ponsa has been doing. The sponsorship deals, the uh, financial restructuring of the way forward, which is helping to win off the field that helps you to win on the field. I say congratulations to Nanayao, to his management team, to the technical boys, to the players themselves, and to all the supporters. Because without the supporters, there is no Kumasi Asante Kotoko. And I say congratulations. I feel honored. You know, since my days, I decided never to talk about Kumasi Asante Kotoko. It's important to give managements the time to come up with their vision, to make it better, to make it different. And you win, you lose, but you have to embrace the supporters. This year, I've been a little bit more vocal because Nanaya reached out to me and we talk. He's his own man. Uh, believe me, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not involved in that way. But any kind of advice that I can give, I have tried to do that. And I've reached out and I've said, support what it is that is happening. Last season, there were all kinds of conflicts. We understand that. We who have been in charge of Kotoko before understand the problems that happen between board and management, between personalities and individuals. But what is important is the team. The team from 1935 up to now and into the future is far greater than any one person. It's much more important than the chairman. It's much more important than the chief executive. Kotoko will outlive anybody. And that is the critical issue. From last season to this season, there's been a clear out, a movement of players, a movement of coaches, a movement of all sorts of things. In order to become great, you have to change. You have to move with the times. You have to prepare for the future. And this is just the first step. Now, Kotoko needs to consolidate. It has to look at Africa. It has to decide whether these great players who've achieved so much, and I say congratulations once again, and thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for this victory. I think that the winning the league this year has meant more to me than at most times. I'm old enough to have remembered the great, and I always mention Sims Mensah first because he built the team for Yaobewa to have the glory in 1983. The great guys who I had time to look up to, uh, Champong, who passed uh, Mukazal, who used to join me at the stadium. But what has excited me about this time has been the, the energy that has come into what they're trying to build. You have to be able to look into the future to be able to judge the present. And if you can do that, you can see the direction is right. And as an, as an administrator, it's not necessarily about winning today. It's about whether in two, three, four years time, the standard of Kumasi Asante Kotoko would have been established strong enough, mighty enough to go back to be challenging the best in Africa. So Prosper, your boys, those who have contributed, I say congratulations. You can see that I'm quite excited because look at the shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> this shirt was a bit, a bit too big for me in the old days. I've kept many of the things that I had when I was involved in Kotoko, and this is one of them. I'm proud to wear this shirt, and I'm proud to be part of Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Congratulations. And when the party starts, make sure that some of we, the old-timers, you invite us. Well done.